Day eight of turning my Mercedes SL550 into a supercar, and today <laughs> I wrapped the mirror. Like and follow to keep up with the. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we have an interesting case ahead of us. We're taking a look at Grant Sloan. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly but we had our initial contact with him back when we did a cringy TikTok video where he was showing his supercar build. We took a look at it, I put a pin in it and I wanted to make sure we would loop back around when the case is closed. However, Things just got a little interesting. He finished his supercar build. So today we're going to take a look at it because uh, supercar should be heavily quotated. Anyways, um, other than this Mercedes build, I don't know jack shit about the guy. So I'm only going to really be focusing on this supercar build, but it's an interesting one. Anyways, quick announcement. We have uh, channel members now. If you guys want to become a member of the channel, have special badges and stuff like that, there's a button somewhere. I, if you're interested, you probably know where the button's at. I don't know where the button's at. I don't know. I, it's new to me. So just become a member. I'd appreciate that. Anyways, uh, put on your little deputy caps and uh, let's take a look at this case. The case of the master of clickbait. All right. So like I said, if you guys were in the, uh, if you guys saw the video where I talked about this, He's building a uh, supercar from scratch, or not from scratch, but he's using a Mercedes or something like that. So uh, here we go. Look, we're gonna start from the beginning. We gotta, we gotta gather all the lore on this, so it might be a little in depth. However, I believe it is necessary. So let's start from the beginning and let's see the supercar. New car, supercar. All right, that's a uh, quite the uh, clickbaity title. Let's see what a supercar is. My almost supercar has finally arrived. Okay, so he so said almost work. there, conveniently left it out of the title, but whatever, let's take a look. Buy a supercar, I decided to make my own instead, which is exactly what this build series will be about. It's a great video idea, building your own supercar, build versus bot. I like the idea. Hopefully he executes it correctly, as we know from current events. Questionable, but we'll have to be the judge of that. Making this a supercar for under $12,000. Doesn't even show the fucking car. All right, uh, horrible video, zero out of 10, moving on. Let's see, does he show the car? Okay, first Let's almost. Let's unveil my first almost supercar, a 2007 Mercedes SL550. Since I can't afford to buy a supercar, I'm going to turn this SL into one for under $12,000. We're off to a good start, having only spent $8,000 on this SL550, which costed over $105,000 new in 2007. Okay, so he bought a SL550. There's copyrighted music, so I'm going to have to put some music over it. But he's bought a 2007 SL550 for $8,000. New, equivalent to it costed $100,000. Granted, it is a decent car. If you're trying to, well, I mean, maybe not build something, but like at the time, it's a high dollar car. Depreciation is a bitch, but it's a high dollar car. Um, that's that's his unveiling. So it took two videos to unveil it already. The master of clickbait, the king of clickbait, has uh, brought us on, dragged us out for two videos. We need to see this mod. We need we need to see the modding. Here we go. Day one. Day one. What is the first mod homeboy is going to do to a supercar build? If 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 you're smart. It should be something performance oriented, but let's take a look. A one of making my SL Mercedes look like a supercar. And we're going to start by look like a supercar. Now we're changing it to make it look like a supercar. What is it called? Ladies and gentlemen, when you make a car look fast when it's actually not, what is it called when you, when you make your car look cooler than it actually is? Uh, uh rice. Rice, race-inspired cosmetic enhancements. Day one stuff. All right, let's see what he does. The back bumper. Replace so the back we had bumper. To go to the Performance Lab Detroit and pulled her in. And of course, with my luck. Why do you have to go to a fucking shop to install a bumper? And here they are side by side. Thank Looks fucking the same uh, to me. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess there's a little less black. Yeah, whatever. Have those ugly so uh, I fast forwarded through that for your guys's pain and suffering, at least not to be elevated anymore. Uh, first mod, bumper. Holy Christ, we have we have one hell of a build ahead of us. All right, let's see. What's day two? This is day two of turning my SL Mercedes into a day two. Car. I let my girlfriend choose what color to wrap my car, and here she is okay. surprising me with the color. She went with a metallic yellow from Violent Frog. It's the, the same color my Supra was. It looked good on the Supra. I don't think it'll look good on the Mercedes. And I ended up going down a rabbit hole, and I razored all of the windows. We laid down the hood and called it a night, so follow to keep up with the build. Day two. Sped up for your guys' convenience. 
They wrap the hood and they clean the window. This is one hell of a supercar build. Super excited. Day three, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully something a little bit spicier in this episode. Let's see, maybe he's, maybe while he's installing his wrap, he's gonna be tossing on a supercharger. Spoiler alert, doesn't happen. Let's take a look. Anyway, I like how all the comments, all the comments are just like flaming up how it's gonna look like a taxi. Day four of turning my Mercedes into a taxi. I guess he's doing something with his headlights here. I have it muted because the cringy music he plays over every video is just copyrighted probably up the ass so i mean we, we get what he's doing he's disassembling the car he's getting it ready he might be changing some things with with what he do we care so day four he just disassembled more of the car like this this should all be a one day thing i feel maybe not i guess you got to stretch out the content but jesus my my attention span can't handle this is it just me like are you guys god my watch rate's gonna be down on this video i feel bad for my audience i'm sorry guys all right day five hopefully something more interesting than more disassembly upon starting the car she was a little bit smoky lemon holy fuck quit wrapping the goddamn car holy shit i'm getting just like bo like i'm like should i even continue making this video it's hard this is oh, okay he's gonna customize the headlights so keep up with the build guys holy shit i'm just like like maybe tiktok killed my attention span but fucking hell can we please get some actual modifications in here I'm so happy I've never seen all these videos until now because I, I think I, I genuinely would have lost interest after the third video and been like, nah, I'm not, I can't make that video. Holy crap. All right, come on. Day six of making my Mercedes SL550 look like a supercar. Okay, he changes it every video. He's either turning it into a supercar or he's making it look like a supercar. And he goes back and forth each video. Back and forth. He's got to remove more plastic on the bumper, replacing it with a carbon fiber diffuser. He's just wrapping the fucking car for like like six days straight six days of just wrapping the car each video like that that's one video this is my my gripe with tiktokers they just stretch out their content so much a, a youtuber would make it in one video guys we're wrapping the car here's the wrap here's the reveal maybe we're installing some parts too like when i did the the subaru guys we got the subaru wrapped and now i'm gonna toss on all of the arrow kit and all of the other stuff that i got and I wouldn't have stretched it out into like three weeks of content. Like, Jesus Christ. Fuck. Still wrapping the car. Six days in. Come on. Day seven. Give me fucking something new. Give me something. I'm turning my Mercedes SL into a supercar. And today we are focusing. Okay, so, so today he's deciding to, instead of making it look like a supercar, like I said, now he's turning it into a supercar again. Let's see what he does. First up is repairing this key mark, which I've already gone ahead and sanded and... Supercars don't got key marks. Can't have that. Can't have that. Gotta, gotta fix that ASAP. Is he just fixing a fucking scratch today? Is that what he's doing? Is he painting his trim? Oh, he really is. He's painting his trim. Okay. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's what you gotta do to turn your car into a supercar. You take off the the cheap trim and you just bust out that spray paint and you just start painting. Boy, I sure do love spray painting the parts of my McLaren. I love just disassembling that car and just getting out the rattle can and just going to town. Can't wait to disassemble the whole interior and just spray paint it. That's that's definitely what makes it a supercar, spray paint. Love that. Yeah, the, the, the scratch repair, quality part right there. I'll give him a thumbs up on that. That actually looks good. However, I don't think um, a wrap... What has he done to his car so far? A wrap? Is that all he's done? A wrap and painting his his, his trim pieces. I don't think that makes it a supercar. Is that all he's done so far? Oh, he's doing something with his headlights. Oh, and he got a bumper. Supercars, ladies and gentlemen. Supercars. Damn, that is wet. That is way too thick. I'm sure there's runs on that. It doesn't... Oh, no. It doesn't look right. Don't listen to the haters. They're just mad they can't afford a bright yellow SL55. The car looks sick. Keep it up. Moving on. I don't even need to say anything about that. Day 8. Please, Grant. Bust out something cool. Bust out some coilovers or something something just performance oriented please for the love of god let's take a look day eight of turning my mercedes sl550 into a supercar and today <sighs> i wrapped the mirror like a follow to keep up with the fuck 
Is that all he into did? A supercar, and today I wrapped the mirror, like a follow to keep up with the build. He's got to be trolling at this point. That reel is eight seconds long, and it's literally just day eight. I wrapped the mirrors. I need to be out there with them. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but a, a bike or a supercar just did a flyby. I need to be out there with them. I need to make that content. I'm, this is this is a waste of my time. We'll keep going though. We're at day eight. We're I don't know how many days there are. Day nine. Here we go. It's day nine. Three miles on Mercedes. Into a supercar on twelve thousand dollars. Three miles. The previous repair was not level. So shot where Ed came up with Cassandra and the building. Great. Absolutely. And I stopped surrounding areas and headed over to the local paint shop. They were able to look up my VIN number to find my name. It doesn't matter. You're wrapping the car. You're gonna sell it wrapped. We already know that. You're not gonna unwrap the car to sell it. There, that'd be a waste of time. So this is a waste of time. All right. Sent his headlights to get redesigned. Well, customized my Mustang Too much headlights, chrome. which is what you see here. This is a waste of time. They're gonna before. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Finally, something, something of value here. It took us nine days. Took us nine days to get to here. The comments here are getting pissed off too. Day nine and the wrapping is not complete. Really? Oh my god. The headlights look sick. I like the headlights. You know, if Bumblebee was like a peeping tom, I feel like that's how his eyes would look. Good looking headlights. I like that. Unfortunately, the lenses are pretty scratched up. Yeah, you gotta fix those lenses up. Okay, and then he puts on the shitty ass trim. That doesn't look any better. That doesn't. It probably would have looked 10 times better if he didn't do that. Like, I feel like finally people are starting to realize black wheels are ugly, black out kits are ugly, black trim is ugly. Like, people, the whole, the whole black out everything phase is like finally passing. Like, dude, I love how silver wheels look. I love how polished wheels look now. When I first made this channel, I was the com complete opposite. Black out everything. Now, it just hides detail. Like, it doesn't look good. It looks cheap. Like, it looks like a, like a cheap body kit, you know? Like, it, it just doesn't look good. Anyways, um, yeah, there you go. So, okay. So, we're nine days in. I like how the headlights look. We got one thing on the board. One thing on the board besides a wrap. Go, let's go to day 10, baby. Day 10. Day 10 of turning my Mercedes SL into a supercar for under $12,000. I started off the day with installing the hood trim, which was initially silver, but I painted it matte black, which definitely cleaned up the look. And that looks 10 times better. This is interesting. He's restoring his headlights. Once again, I don't know if this is supercar related, but hey, cute restoration right here. I definitely can use this when I'm restoring the Lexus downstairs. I won't be turning it into a supercar, guys. I won't be turning it into an LFA. So, so don't subscribe for that. But if you want to actually, you know, see someone restore a car and make it look new again, I plan on doing that. He's still rapping! 10 days, still rapping. And he wrapped the antenna. That looks fucking ugly. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's done now. Finally. Finally. 10 days in, and he's still rapping. Everyone in the comments are asking, where's the, the supercar part? Spray paint and vinyl equals supercar. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Day 11, here we go, baby. Today I focused on the door handles, which took me about an hour to reassemble. It was time to tint the fog lights. You know, every supercar out there, 600 horsepower, track ready, fog light tint. Gotta have that, gotta have the fog light tint. If you don't got the fog light tint, you're messing up. Also, my pop filter is like dick slapping my mic here. Can you stop? Thank you. Hopefully there's good. something else the here. I do need to tint the uh, the lights on the new truck. So not the headlights, but the side lights. I already talked about in the video. So I'll use this guy's video to, to teach myself how to tint. Doesn't look that hard. If, if he could do it, I'm sure I could do it. Part 11, ladies and gentlemen. Tinted lights. Headlight bulbs. Supercar. Atta boy. Every video, every every like new day, it's more people just like shit talking how it's not a supercar. How is this a supercar? More taxi than supercar. That's actually really good base car to turn to a supercar. Okay, that's questionable. Ship it to me so I can twin turbo it. The door handles are rough. They did look really rough. Yeah, they look they looked really really rough. How is this a supercar? Yeah, the door handles did look really rough. Like let's uh watch right. Ooh ooh. Like, I'm not a rap guy, and I've wrapped door handles, and they look better than that. That's Jesus Christ, man. It's a supercar, though. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. What makes this a supercar? One just can't build a supercar. Yeah, that's gonna be a common theme here. A lot of people uh, shit talking that. Day 12, baby. Started off today with replacing my fog lights with new LED. Motherfucker, why can't this be one video? Hey, I replaced my headlights and my fog lights in one video. Like, and that's not even making it a fucking supercar. The headlights look cool. Again, the only thing I've said that looks cool so far are the headlights. That looks like fucking dog shit. 
like uh, blacked out trim. Why couldn't headlights and the tinting all be in one video? You got a clear third brake light too. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine. Again, not, not a supercar though. This is like what WRX owners do on the daily, just replacing lights and shit. Like this is this isn't supercar shit. Would you guys classify this as even a build yet? Uh, we we have to cross that bridge when the time comes. But is wrapping your car and changing out the headlights a build? So far, I'm gonna say no. So day 12 of wasting time. That's that's what we're at right now. Day 12 of of wasting time. Let's move on to day 13. Hopefully, it doesn't waste time there. I think this is the one that I saw for the for the the cringy car video. And I think it's the best one. A 13 of turning the Mercedes SL into a supercar for under $12,000. First up on the list is reinstalling this Mercedes logo. Gotta have the black painted badges. Gotta have that. Supercars, ladies and gentlemen. Black painted badges. I'm gonna make this one quick because I already covered it. But uh, yeah, gotta toss on the license plate. Supercars got license plates too. That makes sense. And then here we go. The new grill reveal. Guess what? It's black. Dead. Just like all of his other trim. Supercars got black grills and shit. That makes sense. Um, oh, and guess what? We ain't done yet. The, the, the tint the tint's coming back the tint is coming back right here ladies and gentlemen oh he's putting on the other logo but no boom tinted taillights every supercar out there knows tinted taillights that's a must that's 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 why you know personally my mclaren doesn't have tinted taillights so it's not a supercar not like this one right here um yeah definitely looks like a supercar now doesn't look like something i'd see on offer up for five thousand dollars definitely looks like a supercar how has he managed to make it worse well because because he's only doing the cheapest mods possible i don't fucking know you have the modification taste of a high schooler points proven let's go on to day 13 though here we go oh day 14 my bad i'm, I'm getting lost in the sauce here day 14 uh it's hitting the road they got to reassemble it it took 14 days for them to do that two weeks uh put finally put back on the bumper i believe he gets new wheels in this one so uh we got to see what he picks out like i said i believe i showed this one also in the cringy car video God, that looks fucking god awful. Oh my god! You, like, you know what you should have done? You should have got a fucking nicer steering wheel because that steering wheel looked like something old man Jenkins would be driving. Here we go. Out with the old, in with the new. Niche wheels. Niche wheels. Supercar, ladies and gentlemen. Niche wheels. Are they even performance tires? I think they they kind of look like all seasons, but they might be like a summer tire. Who knows? Blacked out, of course. Just like a high schooler would do. At least, the, okay, well, the fitment, besides it not being lowered, the, the offset's correct. The offset looks good. Once again, offset looks good. Here's why I think black wheels are dog shit. You can't see any detail in them. They're, 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 there's no wheel there. You can't see it. Either you got to down your contrast, or you got to get a, a colored wheel, like silver. It looked 10 times better stock. You know that's got to hurt. <laughs> like, if you're reading comments after you post a reel, and people are just constantly flaming you, you know that's got to hurt after a while. Anyways, he actually did something other than a wrap or lights or tint, so I got to give him props there again. He said, going in the right direction. He's just running out of time. Day 15, baby. Let's go. Team of turning the Mercedes SL into a supercar for under $12,000. So far, we spent $8,000 on the car, $400 on wrap, and $1,300 on wheels and tires, which leaves us with dollars $1,300 on wheels and tires. How much is that a wheel? Wheels and tires? How much is that a wheel? Dude, that, how much fucking cheap is that? Like, unless they were sponsored, which is very possible. They are niche wheels. $1,300 divided by four. 325 for a wheel and tire combo. Those were Michelin tires, so they're not cheap. $2,300 wow. to work with. And yes, $2,300 left, baby. What's he going to do with that I money? Still reassembling stuff. I'm definitely not used to the German car life. But today we are focusing on tinting the windows as for many of you. Are I'm going to I'm go I'm going to I'm going to lose my marbles here. I am going to lose my marbles. I don't like TikTok, and this is why. What the fuck does tinting your windows have to do with making it a supercar? I'm gonna tint my truck windows. Is it a super truck? No! I did put the convertible top halfway up to ease the process of tinting the front and rear windshield. I went with 15% all the way around and 50 up front, and here's the final result. At this point, I did get distracted and found myself caring for the baby V6, which has been sitting out back on top. Nobody cares about this. They came for the Mercedes. We don't give a shit about this car. We don't give a shit. I'm not even gonna listen to this shitty V6 cold start. I don't even care. No filter. My camera died, so I'm gonna give it a second to cool off, but since when is tinting your windows a supercar thing? Let's read some comments really quick while my camera's recharging. Bruh, unless you add power, then it's just a riced out Merc, not a supercar. Stop saying you're turning it into a supercar. It has 300 horsepower and it's an old Merc. Please throw power at this thing and, or stop saying you're turning it into a supercar. That's what I'm saying too. I have no problem with you modifying, if you dare call this modifying this car, but then just stop saying it's a supercar. Like I, again, we know you're doing it for clicks, but then just stop saying that. Also, look at this wrap job. Look at that. Oh, my God. I mean, I know nobody's going to see that, but fuck, man. Like, you were one inch away from the edge. Just trim it right. Day 16, let's go. My Mercedes SL into a supercar for under $12,000. Folks, not installing a carbon fiber rear diffuser. 
Okay, at least we got something of quality here. We have a carbon fiber rear diffuser. Again, I, uh, this is the closest thing to a supercar I think he's done the whole time because at least it's carbon, but even then it's like it's just for, for looks. It's a it's a diffuser. It's not, it's, not, it's not doing a whole lot. It's not even really going under the car to actually do much. So, but I mean, it's the closest thing I think so far. And then he breaks it and then he torches it because it didn't fit. So I, th I thought for once, uh, I thought for once he would do something decent. Okay. He got an actual one, drilled it in, installed it with zip ties because supercars use zip ties too. And uh, yeah, there we go. He put on a carbon diffuser. It looks better with it. Again, I'll give him props. Do I still think this is a supercar? No, of course not. But hey, at least it's better than not having one, I guess. So sideways thumbs for that i don't care uh what's the next one day 17. day 17 of turning my mercedes sl into a super how many days are there i came into this little guy taking a nap but we're still letting be up first is installing the carbon fiber front splitter here we go some more fake arrow but carbon fiber front splitter uh, again fake arrow but it looks better uh, I, like instead of wrapping it you should have done a paint correction and then just started with this you would have saved yourself 400 dollars and an ugly fucking wrap but whatever people got their own taste it does look better Finally, it only took him 16 days to do something halfway decent. Why are we why are we on the Z now? Why are we on the Z? I'm I'm trying to trying to watch the Mercedes. I'm I'm trying to watch the Mercedes. All right, we got a uh, a little uh, trunk spoiler, trunk lip. 3M taped that bad boy on there. I can't really diss it because mine is 3M taped on on my Mustang and if my 1000 horsepower Mustang can still hold on to its lip with 3M tape, then I think it's okay. But all right, so he installed two things there. Again, 100 times better than the last 16 days, so we'll give him a sideways thumb for that. Is it a supercar because of those things? No. But at least he's doing something. He got the finished results. It's day 18 of turning my Mercedes SL into a supercar. And we're starting off nice and easy with some simple side skirts. These are universal side skirts. Universal side skirts, ladies and gentlemen. Universal side skirts. Is it a supercar if it doesn't have universal side skirts, ladies and gentlemen? Mother fudger! Where is the supercar part of this car? Off of e universal side skirts from eBay. Had to cut them to fit, and he installs them with probably self-tappers. Like, this is not a supercar. This is not a build. He is just fucking bolting on and, and sticking on some 3M tape. That's all he's doing. He didn't even put an exhaust on it. This guy's right. No exhaust or engine. At least put a fucking muffler delete. No, no, no. We're going to focus on the we're gonna focus on the carbon fiber gas cap. That's what we're going to focus on here. The carbon fiber gas cap and the universal side skirts. Holy shit. I'm getting a migraine just watching this series. This is a long video, and I'm sorry. Like, it rolling down the road, it doesn't look half bad. It looks like he either put it on coilovers or something, because it looks lowered here. I, it didn't look like that in all of his other videos, but maybe he had it lifted up for some reason. But it's still not a supercar. And I'm not trying to, like, gatekeep him out of the supercar community, because I don't give a shit. I have a cheap McLaren. Like, I have the cheapest one you could buy. I don't care. It's just that he's, like, blatantly lying about turning his car into a supercar with cosmetic mods. I could do these same mods to any other shitbox, and it's not transforming into a supercar. Hell, I could do these to my Supra, and it wouldn't be a supercar. Today, we are getting rid of this wheel gap using these little things right here. The car does have a hydraulic lift on all four wheels from factory, and it is currently in its up position. Anyways, here on the lowering list, the install process is super straightforward, but, of course, I made it more complicated than it had to be. I simply popped off the OEM ones and clipped the new ones on, and just like that, they were ready to go. I did also install Mercedes center caps to clean up the look of the wheels. After lowering the car, the front end dropped dramatically. A hundred times better. Once again, finally, like, something simple like this a hundred percent should have been like day three this should have been day three i think day one should have been hey we're gonna change up the wheels day two hey we're gonna lower it down day three hey we're gonna if you really wanted to call this a modification we're gonna tint all the lights and replace the bulbs day four we're gonna throw on some carbon arrow day five i don't know i guess we'll see what he does what he does next i'll give that one a thumbs up because it did transform the look of the car and it looks 10 times better there once again though still not a supercar Day 20. Finally, turning my Mercedes into a supercar for under twelve thousand dollars, and today we're cutting off the exhaust. Just as I was pulling it in. I really hope that this sounds good. I really do, just for for his sake, because if you're driving around a supercar and it sounds like a fucking vacuum cleaner, that's pretty bad. Well, let's just pray. I the downpour, but I wasted no time and got straight to work. The blade that I used was the wrong material and pretty dull, but with a little bit of encouragement, I was able to get the mufflers off. At this point, I got a very special package delivered straight to me. I'm a hundred thousand subscriber pack from YouTube. This guy also cleared up just in time to take part of the shop. But first, I unboxed the new SL63 quad exhaust tips that I'm putting on the car. Okay, so we have some some exhaust tips. I, I I mean they're not fake exhaust tips, but like that's like janky. But whatever. Um, I want to hear how the car sounds this this episode. Since I went to the machine, I ended up just taking the car across the street to the muffler shop. Here they were able to get the car up in the air with the tips welded in about 20 minutes. And here is my reaction to the first time I turned on the car without the mufflers. As you can tell, I was pretty excited. But here's the before and after. Shoot, wrong foot. 
sounds better. However, I think the tips are sticking out a little bit too much, but maybe that's just me. They look like they're, they're poking just a, just a little bit, just a wee bit. The next series, I'll be redoing my interior. All right, and finally, after 20 long days, here is his full build breakdown with budget of his supercar, his Mercedes that he turned into a supercar. It's a supercar. Let's see if these mods reflect that. They don't. A complete budget breakdown on my Mercedes SL 550. The goal of this build was to build a supercar for under twelve thousand dollars. Building a supercar for under twelve thousand dollars is impossible, and we'll read some comments afterwards. But let's just take a listen. The car itself costs us about eight thousand dollars. This is a clean title vehicle. Costs one hundred thousand dollars. I scratch that. You could potentially build a supercar for twelve thousand dollars if the purchase price of the car is not included in that budget like you could totally get a, a, a supercharger kit or a twin turbo kit and some six suspension and kind of redo what you have now yeah you're not going to have the foundation you're, gonna, you're not going to have a built trans built motor um you're not going to have big brakes for that you know you're not going to have all that but depending on the car that you choose you could potentially have something that can compete with supercars for that budget we just we just did it wrong here. Brand new because it is a high mileage car that was a lot of depreciation on the cost. The yellow wrap that my girlfriend surprised me with was four hundred dollars. The wheels and tires came out to be thirteen hundred dollars. Shockingly cheap. I'm blown away by that. I need to, I need to get in touch with this guy's tire guy because those are ridiculously cheap tires. The carbon fiber diffuser on the back was five hundred fifty. The carbon fiber spoiler was three hundred and thirty. The carbon fiber front lip was four hundred dollars, and then the side skirts came out to be one hundred and ten dollars. Subtracting all that from twelve thousand leaves us with nine hundred and ten dollars left over. There was a few smaller expenses here and there, such as the cost of the TPMS sensors, the cost to get the it's welded on, um, and a few other things. But overall, we stayed within our budget, and I am super happy with how it turned out. I have no problem with this guy enjoying his car. Like I said from the get-go, if you wanted to build a car like this, there's nothing wrong with that. One, some people might not say it's a build, but I don't, again, I don't even care about that. My biggest complaint is you're turning your car into a supercar with no supercar modification. The, the only performance mod he might have done is chopping his mufflers off and it's not like he gained horsepower from that he just freed up some weight let's read some comments as an sl owner i know for a fact it costed way more i honestly would love to know where the fuck you can buy four brand new tires and rims michelin tires to be exact for thirteen hundred dollars i own a tire shop and my cost comes to a thousand four tires you're going to tell me that you bought a brand new set of rims for three hundred dollars he could have gotten it from sponsorship, which is 100% possible. But then again, he didn't really like talk like they were a sponsorship. And I don't think a sponsorship would let him remove the center caps of their wheels so people can't read what they are. But see, cap, 100%, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Why y'all saying this isn't a build? This is fire. Okay, let's read some comments to defend it. Simple supercharger would have actually made it a build. Doesn't matter what he drives, he's 100% right. Building a car means he would have actually done mechanical work, such as suspension and performance mods. You build an engine, you do not build a carbon fiber spoiler. Facts, 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 facts. You can't throw on some 3M tape parts, like you know a 3M tape lip, a 3M tape spoiler, and a 3M tape diffuser with some self-tappers and call it a build. Simply can't do that. No performance mods, not a supercar. Yeah, I mean, the comments go on and on. For the last freaking time, he said that he isn't doing performance mods because it's going out of the budget. And it doesn't do much. And to top it off, for this car, there isn't a lot of performance. I think that he said an ECU tune or something else. But what about performance? He can't do performance, so stop. That guy is his biggest fan. Then don't call it a supercar. Because you know what supercars have? Performance. Build a supercar puts a whack color wrap on a 20-year-old sl that's my biggest gripe one last comment just to put the cherry on top embarrassing that you call this a build yeah if we take a look back at the whole process i mean he broke it down really perfectly for us in this little clip this reel whatever a wrap tinted headlights fog lights tail lights blacked out badges blacked out trim shitty carbon fiber parts and universal side skirts nothing there says supercar nothing I don't think I'd be making this video if he didn't say that he was turning into a supercar. It would just be like every other TikToker on the platform just building a shitty car. And for those saying that he can't afford anything nice or can't afford performance parts and can't afford to do it right, he has nice cars. He has a 400Z or someone in his videos does, I guess. I don't know the lore on this guy. I don't care to, especially after watching this series. I really don't care. My point, though, is you probably shouldn't lie to your audience or trick them into watching your series for 20 days and milking them for that many views, especially when half of it was just wrapping parts of your car.
As you can tell, this video is super long, which is why I'm only focusing on this build of his. I mean, I don't even know anything about his other cars. And like I said, I don't care to at this point. The fact that he built a supercar and this is what the outcome is kind of already gives me an idea of what to expect with his other stuff. So I've lost interest and that's the downside of clickbaiting because once you deceive your audience once, twice, or for this case, 20 days worth, their interest is just gonna be very low. And I mean, as we can tell just from his interactions, I guess in recent days, um, he has 163,000 followers, which is great, but averages two to 3,000 likes, 4,000 likes, 2,000 likes. So what percent of people, 1,000 likes? Look at this, this is crazy. His photos get very little likes. So either people aren't liking his stuff anymore, or maybe there's bots, I don't know. I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't know nothing. I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna dig into that rabbit hole. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this build down below. Was it a build? Was it not a build? Was I being too harsh? Should he have called it a supercar? Did he do what he set himself out to do and build a supercar? Let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts. Anyways, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, subscribe, become a member, and until next video, peace.